Hello Matudistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode where we are going to chat you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. Kickstarting on today's agenda, Jude Bellingham talks about the El Clasico, Cristiano Ronaldo and the Real Madrid fans ahead of Barcelona clash. We are going to be talking to you about that on this episode. Then shortly after that, we will turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid are ready to take a vote in order to rename the Valde Bebas training facility to Florentino Perez Sport City. I'm going to be talking to you about that on today's episode. But before we kickstart with this agenda, please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned right up to the end so you do not miss on any interesting detail. Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti reportedly plans to utilize a five-man midfield against Barcelona in the upcoming El Clasico, yet it is quite clear that the activity in the middle of the park will revolve around a certain Jude Bellingham. The youngster has single-handedly carried Real Madrid through thick and thin this season, and a recent analysis showed that the team would have been struggling without his goals. Come Saturday, the spotlight will once again be on him, albeit on a world new scale. Bellingham spoke to Tele Darrow's the TV ahead of Real Madrid clash against Xavi Hernandez's men, where he shared the feelings about the gargantuan clash. I am looking forward to the game against Barcelona. He opened up in the interview not holding back on his excitement. The young star then went on to explain the importance of the tussle between Barcelona and Real Madrid and what made it the biggest game in this sport. I know the impact that El Clasico has among fans, the media and football in general and I feel at the same time the responsibility towards the club and the fans to get the three points, he stated. Over the years, El Clasico has seen some of football's iconic celebrations, from Cristiano Ronaldo's roar to Lionel Messi's iconic jersey celebration that the clash has seen some memorable moments. I always remember the celebrations. I remember Cristiano Ronaldo's calma calma at the Camp Nou. Bellingham said about the best celebration he remembers on the El Clasico night. Having enjoyed a stellar start to life in Spain, the young star has quickly become a fan favorite in Madrid. The former Borussia Dortmund star opened up on his newfound fame and the love he receives from fans by saying, I am indebted to the fans. I feel a strong emotions at the Bernabeu hearing the crowd singing, especially when the cheering is of my name. I want to give them more because of how they have welcomed me. I get goosebumps just thinking about how I feel when the fans sing Hey Jude. It is something I am really proud of and I am thankful of the fans for the way they have treated me, he added on the Bernabeu chanting his name. Finally, the young phenomenon was asked about his achievement of scoring 11 goals for the club in a short span, to which he replied, Scoring 11 goals is truly amazing, but I always want to improve and I hope to continue doing so, he concluded. So having concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid will take a vote to rename the Valde Bebas training facilities at Florentino Perez Sport City. Florentino Perez will go down in history not only as one of Real Madrid's best but also longest serving president. Under the Spanish administrator, the club has sought the new, to new heights and has a claim as one of the most successful clubs in the history of the sport. Several members of the Merengue's board does see it fitting to rename the club's facility after Perez. The proposal was brought forward before but did not go through as swiftly as expected. 
Now Marca reports that the operation is back on. According to the Spanish outlet Real Madrid, administrators have called for a meeting on Saturday, November 11. One of the primary topics of discussions will be to rename the Valde Bebas to Florentino Perez Sport City and a vote will be taken at the assembly. Florentino Perez has been opposed to such open recognition for a long time and to this date it is not he is not in favor of the change. Yet he is helpless as the club members have the power to request such an alteration. The report adds that as many as 1,000 members have come out in support of the petition. If it is rectified next month, the change of the name could become official. Apart from the aforementioned objective, the assembly meeting on the 11th of November will have certain other topics for discussion. For starters, the gathering will approve last season's account and those scheduled for the current season. Moreover, appointing of Jose Martinez as the new honorary president of the club is also expected to be given the green flag on the night. Some of the other agenda include the financing of the Santiago Bernabeu's renovation and its, in, and its management. So having said that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Follow us so you do not miss on our next update. See you next time on Hala Madrid to us all.